I was of draft age during the uh, Vietnam War. So for me, uh, Lyndon Johnson was the devil. I, I hated him because he could send me to my death. I was very much against the war. I didn't, uh, I, and I only saw him through that one lens, which was bad guy. He was a bad guy. I was able to, you know, hold, you know went through a lot in my life. I, I grew up, I got involved in politics and government and public policy. And as that happened, I started to see uh, Lyndon Johnson in a different light because he was much more complex than I had viewed him when I was a young person during the Vietnam War. And when this script came by uh, uh, Tim and Trevor White, who had developed the script with a young writer named Joey Hartstone, who's a brilliant writer, we got a couple of Joey Hartstone fans in the audience. I'll let him know. Maybe he'll have some sex later. Um, I'll tell him. Uh, but. When the script came, I fir my first instinct was, oh, I don't know, do I want to make a movie about LBJ? But the more I thought about it and the more I reflected on the experiences that I had had, like I say, in government and public policy, I said, no, this guy was much more complex than uh, I had thought. Uh, and I had read most of the Caro books. And when I read uh, a book by Doris Kearns Goodwin, who wrote a biography, who she, she had worked in the White House and, and had uh, um, uh, worked with uh, Johnson down in Texas on the biography, there were a couple of things in there that struck me. Uh, as, as effective as he was as a legislator, he was also incredibly insecure. Uh, there were two things that I picked out of there. One was that he had a, a, a recurring dream of being paralyzed. He was in a wheelchair and saw himself as being paralyzed, had this dream over and over again. And the other one was his mother had withheld her love at times. And so here was a guy who was, uh, uh, you know, insecure, fearing not being loved, uh, at times incapable of moving forward, making a decision. And yet, when he went into action and did what he did, there was nobody more effective than Lyndon Johnson. So I looked at him as a very complex character, and I wanted to make a movie that would show all sides of him. Had it not been for Vietnam, and we can't discount it because it was there, but had it not been for Vietnam, he would have gone down as one of the great uh, presidents in American history, I believe.